हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज़ पीयूष एंड दिस इज वीडियो नंबर थर्टी नाइन इन द सीरीज सी के ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर येस वी ओनली हैव अ कपल ऑफ वीडियोज लेफ्ट एंड वी आर ऑलमोस्ट डन विद द सीरीज सो थैंक यू फॉर शोइंग योर पेशेंस टिल नाउ एंड थैंक यू फॉर फॉलोइंग अलॉन्ग टिल नाउ आई एम श्योर दिस जर्नी विल बी वर्थ इट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल बी लुकिंग इन टू वर्क नोट फेलियर सिनारियोज एंड हाउ डू वी ट्रबल शूट दोज वी एक्चुअली हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ ट्रबल शूटिंग इन each and every video but i wanted to show you some trouble shooting scenario uh, when it comes to work or not failure from exam perspective as well so that's what we'll be doing in this video uh, as i've said it will cover a few scenarios uh, how to trouble shoot that how to fix the issue how to look for errors and so on and the comments and like target for this video is 300 likes and 100 comments in the next 24 hours so please do that and without any further ado let's start with the video okay so i have logged into my cluster and as per the exam uh, the scenario that could be given to you is the cluster is broken uh, log into the cluster using the context and fix it so if i do k get nodes i am able to see that my master node is ready but my worker nodes are in not ready status that means there is something wrong with the worker nodes the status is not reporting as ready if all these nodes were in not ready condition or you know all of these were reporting unhealthy status that could be an indication of a networking issue a uh, issue could be with the network add on like we have calico flannel weave net and so on so either that network add on has not been installed in your cluster and that is why it is because that that particular piece is responsible for pod to pod networking right and how do the nodes uh, interact with each other in the cluster so that is responsible for that feel free to check that out and how do we check if the network plugin is installed and if it is running fine or not there are multiple ways first ways you can do that first way you can do k get pods hyphen a okay and you will see different pods over here uh in the cube system namespace okay first let's see what different namespaces do we have so if we do k get namespaces so we have um uh, ingress default and these three uh these three are uh, default kubernetes uh, namespaces that comes with the installation so this is something new tagira operator then we also have calico system and calico api server so these are specific to calico if we had flannel then you would see something with the name flannel and weave net and so on right so that's one way of checking it out which network add on you are using and other way is like i did k get uh, pods hyphen hyphen a and now that we know that which network operator do we have so we can just take this namespace and do get pods on this particular namespace okay and you'll see we have a tigera operator running so this is the operator responsible for running the uh, calico pods and we can do the same in these okay just to make sure that all the pods uh, as part of the calico network add on are reporting as up and running healthy so if we do that um, so we see everything is running we don't see any issues so far and you can do the same with cube api server if there are any issue you can go into the configuration file and check if they exist or not and so on so the default location for any network add on would be etc cni uh, i believe this is the one okay ls uh, let's do that and we have netd uh, i don't have permission to log into that and in the exam sandbox as well you wouldn't have a, a permission so you can do a sudo su to log in to the root user and now you can go to the directory etc cni uh, netd okay so we have these two files make sure these two file exist one starts with 10 calico config list and then calico cube config if there will be another uh, plugin instead of calico uh, there would be another file let's say if they are using weave net so it will be 10 hyphen weave net or 10 hyphen weave dot conflict something like that okay so from from these files as well you will know uh, which plugin you are using okay um, we have seen that pods are reporting healthy so there are no issues uh, with the network add on calico is running and it is installed so uh, we eliminate that part now 
because issue is reporting and I'm going to do exit now. Uh, remember, because I have logged in to the root user. So I'm just doing an exit to go back to my default user. Okay. So make sure whenever you type exit in the exam, uh, do it carefully, right? Otherwise your terminal window will be exited and you will lost all the progress that you have made, right? So don't do that. Now I have only logged out and I, I have uh, gone to my default user. So here we were kget nodes. One is ready, two not ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH to each of these worker nodes and then troubleshoot the issue. Okay. So in the exam, what you will do, you will do SSH. Okay. Worker zero one. Okay. Worker one, something like this. Uh, currently it's not been set. So SSH would not work, but in the exam it will work and you have to add the username as well. It will provide it to you. The command will be provided. Don't worry, right? So now I have done the SSH in a different terminal window and here is my worker node, okay? So if we check k get pause, let's see if anything is running. Uh, oh, I did not set the alias. In the exam sandbox, alias will also be set. So don't worry. So k get pause. Okay, it's not reporting health. These, I mean, uh, this is because uh, we don't have the cube config configured over here. So that is why I've shown you in one of the videos how you can do that. You can either copy the cube config from from the admin uh, machine or you can copy it from the uh, etc Kubernetes folder and there'll be admin.conf. You can do that. Uh, I don't need it at the moment, so I'm not going to do that. What do we need to check in this worker node to make sure that it is ready. Okay. So if you remember, we have looked into a service. We did an overview of a service called Kubelet, right? Kubelet is a node level agent that is responsible for reporting the status of worker node to the Kube API server. It is also responsible for making sure that uh, it communicates. Uh, I mean, it, it set up the communication between worker node and the control plane node. Okay and every little task it execute on the worker node. So um, there could be something wrong with the kubelet. So we need to check the status of the kubelet first. So the command to do that is service because kubelet is running as a service. So you can do service kubelet status. Okay, and it will show you something like this. And over here you see it says code is exited and active is equal to inactive. It's dead. Basically the service itself is not running. Okay. So there is some issue. Uh, you can like uh, these lines are the logs. Uh, so you can go to the last line by pressing shift G on your keyboard shift plus G. Okay. I'm already at the last line and let's go to the right. I'm just uh, using my arrow keys to go right. And it says the kubenet uh, node agent deactivated and, and that's it. So maybe someone stopped it voluntarily, okay, by accidentally or whatever. So let's try do this. So let's try to start the service and let's see if it is coming up. So what I'm going to do, sudo service kubelet and then instead of status, I'll do start. Okay. And now run the command again for kubelet status. And now it says it's active, it is running. Now let's go back to our control plane node and see if it is reporting the healthy status or not. So I'm over here and let's do a okay, kget nodes and this node is ready now. It's healthy because the issues were there with the kubelet. Now let's fix the worker two node. There could be some other issue as well with the worker two node. Let's SSH into that. I have done the SSH here is my worker two node. And first of all, let's check the kubelet status, sudo service kubelet status. Okay, over here, uh, it's not inactive, but it's in the status activating. So there is something that is preventing kubelet to come up. Okay, and there are no other uh, logs over here. It just says status is failure. So we need to look into logs. How do we check kubelet logs? So there is a command. It says journal CTL. 
because kubelet is running as a service to check the logs of any service we use general ctl commands it's a utility that's been installed uh, already so you type general ctl hyphen u and the process name which is kubelet okay general ctl hyphen u kubelet then hit enter now these are the logs as it says it has one of 21 lines so what we need is we need the latest logs okay so again to go back to the latest line to the last line i'm gonna press shift plus g on my keyboard and i'm currently in the last line or there are actually fifteen thousand lines so yeah i'm in the last line and over here you will see we have different type of options so we have something with the name with the error code that starts with i okay i denotes it's an info message and then we have something called e which denotes error so e is error i is info and what we need is E. We need to debug E. So I'm over here and I'm going to press my arrow keys to go to the right. Let's see what do we have. This is the error that's been uh, reported. It says command failed. Error, command failed, failed to construct kubelet dependencies. And here is our error which says unable to load client CA file etc Kubernetes PKI. I am wrong.crt. That means somewhere in the kubelet configuration this file has been wrongly mentioned so let's do an exit by pressing colon q similarly like we exit a vi editor or less and more command we do the same now we have to check the kubelet config file so i'm gonna go to var lib and there should be a folder called kubelet and over here we have couple of files for kubelet uh, the one is config yaml so i'm gonna do sudo vi config dot yaml okay and over here you see where is the client ca file path mentioned there is the wrong file now we need to first check the correct file name okay so i'm gonna exit it now and i'm gonna do ls etc kubernetes pki Okay, and what we need is client uh, CA cert, right? So this is the correct file name, pki ca dot cert. You can go inside that folder and see what all files are available. Okay, so I'm gonna do a sudo vi again, and I'm gonna replace it because this is a client CA file. I'm gonna replace it with ca dot cert, and I will save it. Now let's do a restart on the kubelet service. sudo service kubelet restart okay and then let's do status now okay it's active it is running i don't see any errors so let's go back to our control plane node and let's run get nodes again and our worker node 2 is also healthy so you can get either of these scenarios or something similar to that in the exam like where there is some issues with the kubelet config kubelet config yaml or anything and then you have to fix it or you have to start the kubelet service and so on now you don't have to obviously remember uh, the file path like where lib kubelet and so on it's already there in the kubelet config sorry in the kubelet service details so if you go to kubelet over here um here is the command that it is wait uh it should be somewhere over here so it says cube config this is the cube config it is using okay and here is the config yaml you see over here uh with the command it says bootstrap cube config hyphen hyphen cube config is this and config is this where lib kubelet config yaml and so on so all the files are mentioned over here so whichever file is throwing the error you should be able to go in that file and fix the issue okay and uh, basically yeah that's that's it about how do we troubleshoot and check issues related to worker node this is like on a higher level from the exam perspective there could be hundreds and thousands of more issues when it comes to actual production kubernetes so we'll look at that after we are done with this series but for now this is what you need to know okay so in the next video, we'll be implementing a real time project, which is basically hosting your own Docker Hub registry on Kubernetes and we'll be using many of the concepts that we have learned through this entire series. OK, so we'll be implementing everything. It will be an end to end project. So uh, make sure you 
watch that make sure you do the hands-on and you share your progress as well okay so that's it about this video i will see you soon with the next video and i'm sure you will be able to complete the comments and like target for this video as you have done for the previous videos so thank you so much for watching and i wish you have a good day happy learning and i will see you soon